hi guys in this video i will show you how to add providers to your ionic project providers are normally used to share the data between pages or to add common functionality between the your views you can add provider using command ionic generate provider followed by provider name i'll just name it as data provider so once uh, you give a command it will generate a provider name data if you see your folder uh, there is if you see in your app folder you can see there is one folder created named as a provider within this provider another folder created named by data within this data you will get data.ts file this is automatically generated by ionic so let's remove that comments so if you look in after the provider is generated if you look into app with an app app modules.ts you can see this provider is automatically imported here so the class is data provider which is imported same and the same will be added to your providers so so let me go to the provider and add some data here so i'll declare a variable just name it as data x and put it as maybe one two three so now this data can be accessed using any one of the pages so to get the data from this provider to this home.ts page or any page we need to import that provider to the your home.ts file so we need to import the provider class data provider which is defined here so from so currently you are in a pages so i need to go back so currently you are in a home.ts page you will be going back to home folder so we need to again go back to get pages folder okay from pages you will be going to app so we will go into providers within providers you have data and data file now we need to inject the data provider to the constructor so uh, I'll just inject it here. Put a name as data, data p, which will use to define data provider, data provider. Now we can access the data in a constructor. I will just console log the value here. Else, let me just declare a variable data v data from provider equal to so our provider state of p dot the name you gave is data x let me just check this name data x okay so now I'll just log the value here. I'll say this code will run the app using Ionic Cardova run Android C so that it will reload automatically. So it will take some time. So 
so once it loaded you are seeing some error like no provider for http client we didn't add http client provider right now but we're not gonna need it in this video so i'll just close cancel that import and this inject here also so i will reload again So here you see, I get the console log of one two three. So I can easily share this value between the pages. So let me create another page. So I will be using ionic generate page. Let me call it as page two, and it will generate a page for me. If I go to page two dot ts, so I'll just delete this. I will import a the provider here. Make data provider from. So I need to go back. Go back again. I need to go back to providers within providers there will be one data and data and I will simply log a value here and sorry I need to inject I need to inject data provider to a constructor so I will inject it here data provider is data provider so I will simply log the value here data p dot where we name is data x so uh, I will add a navigation from home page to page 2 so to do that I will be going to home.html I will declare a variable here sorry I will declare a button here so which is use it to navigate from home page to page 2 sorry the click even is like this Declare a function as go to page two and so I will define this function in home.ts. So in home.ts let's declare a function this top now control dot push followed by page to page so this is a model pro exported by page if you have any doubt you can check in a page to dot is page to page so that is page to page so we will save all this save all Okay, once it restarted, you can see one, two, three, which I'm currently in a home page. Okay, if I click page two, you can see the data is accessed here. Likewise, we can add multiple functions, uh, which can be, which are used commonly between pages. That's all, folks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.